Hi. Oh, are you behind me? Yes. Oh my God, Hi. you're beautiful. And I like you because when I am feeling sad, you don't always cheer me up right away. Sometimes it can be better to be sad. You can't stand the others being so googly and gaggly every single minute. You want to think about things. It takes time. I like you because if I am mad at you, then you are mad at me too. It's awful when the other person isn't. Hooey. Do you, Christopher, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. We have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. Do you, Marilyn, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. They are so nice and hoo-hoo, you could just about punch them in the nose. I like you because if I think I'm going to throw up, then you are really sorry. You don't just pretend you're busy looking at the birdies and all that. You say, maybe it was something you ate. You say, maybe the same thing happened to me one time, and the same thing did. If you find two four-leaf clovers, you give me one. If I find four, I give you two. If we only find three, we keep on looking. Sometimes we have good luck and sometimes we don't. If I break my arm and if you break your arm too, then it is fun to have a broken arm. I tell you about mine, you tell me about yours. We are both sorry. We write our names and draw pictures. We show everybody and they wish they had a broken arm too. I, Marilyn Jin Yi He, take you, Christopher William Caton, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, in good times and bad. I promise to love and support you, to laugh and to grow with you, and to share my life with you, all the days of our lives. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, over a meal, or during long walks. All those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday, somehow, and maybe. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Christopher William Caton, take you, Marilyn Kianita, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health, for richer and for poor in good times and in bad. I promise to love and support you, to laugh and grow with you, and to share my life with you all the days of our lives. I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. By the power of your love, commitment, and the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other.